So do you want to start like by giving a quick breakdown on the Bitwarden situation? Yeah. So what happened was recently, some people who were trying to build the open source Bitwarden client noticed that they weren't able to build it from source anymore without agreeing to some license terms and downloading something that looked like a proprietary component of Bitwarden. So there was a big story about how Bitwarden is including more uh, proprietary components under under more closed source licensing that they control where you can only use that code with like Bitwarden specific apps and not in like other implementations, which is obviously not open source. Uh, so people were understandably very concerned about that. What ended up happening is Bitwarden recognized that that specific build error was a bug. It, it It's supposed to be able to build with only open source code. So that component of the whole thing is uh, pretty much resolved. You should still be able to build the client with open source code, that kind of thing. So ultimately, it's just kind of a story about like Bitwarden um, and, and their funding. They have to like do more enterprisey things to make money. Um, they are, I mean, for, for a long time, Bitwarden has had like this open core model. Uh, it's very similar to like GitLab, for example. It, it, they haven't been like fully open source in all of the things that they do for, for a while now. I think even possibly even before the VC funding, but certainly after. So it, it's just how their business is structured and it's not super new. I guess I've seen a lot of people in the communities concerned about like whether Bitwarden is going to go completely closed source or if they're going to have to move. And I don't think that that's going to be the case for, for a lot of consumers in their base product right now. Right. Yeah. From what I could tell too, it seems like a big licensing disagreement, which I don't know. How do you feel about that in the context of companies like Vivaldi? Because my stance on it is, at least from a pure privacy and security perspective, I, I don't see a direct issue in someone being source available and the whole like open source versus source available argument really boils down to an argument of what FOSS should mean. So I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And that's certainly one argument. And from like a security perspective, um, I, I, I'd agree, like having that source available is going to be the biggest thing in order to like make sure the current product as it exists today is, is secure and people can audit it. Personally, I think that vendor lock-in is a huge like privacy concern um, because we see time and time again, a lot of companies like create products that work fine for now and then become more privacy invasive later. And you can't really switch because you're already um, on this platform. The, the switching cost is too high for a lot of people. And so they're kind of stuck. And so I think that being open source and being able to easily switch to like a new open source fork if something goes wrong with the original product is actually directly relevant to privacy. So it is kind of a concern. I do think like in this specific case, the vast majority of Bitwarden code, at least the part that like most people in this community would care about is open source right now. So that means that like if Bitwarden decides to do something crazy, the community can take the code as it is. They won't be able to use future code, but they can't change the license of the old code retroactively so they can take it and fork it and make something open source and have some continuance no matter what Bitwarden does. So I think there is still some assurance there for people who are using Bitwarden right now who are concerned about that, that open source licensing provides that a uh, source available license might not necessarily. Right. Yeah, definitely I've made the rounds and I know a lot of people were really worried about this one because I know Bitwarden is probably one of, if not the most popular, like open source password manager recommendation right now. So yeah. Yeah. Um, is there any update? I, to my knowledge, they kind of mostly resolved most people's concerns at this point. Yeah, I think everything's been resolved for now. I think people are just worried about like, it's it's the same stuff that we were talking about when Bitwarden got their VC funding originally, like yeah. people are concerned about the direction. But so far for now, I think it's fine. Yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. This is actually a highlight from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and how you can have a better relationship with technology. So if you want the full length experience, definitely check out our main channel, TechLore. We'll leave a link somewhere on the screen, wherever our editor puts it, and you can probably check it down in the description as well.